Today, I'd like to teach you how to find the molar mass of magnesium hydroxide. In order to do so, I've created a nice little table. Take a look. Bam. So the first step is we're going to write the elements we see in the compound. So we've got magnesium, oxygen, and hydrogen. Next is then we're going to write down the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So now if you don't see a subscript at the bottom of the element, just write in a one. So there's one magnesium. Good. There's also one oxygen, but oxygen is part of the uh, polyatomic anion hydroxide, and you have two of them. So you actually have two oxygens. The shortcut is take the inner subscript there of oxygen and multiply it by the outer. All right. Same thing. Whoops. Same thing then for hydrogen. One times two is going to be two, so you have two hydrogens in total. Then you're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each particular element. That's where the periodic table comes into play. So magnesium's mass is 24.31, hydrogen is 1.01, .01, and oxygen is going to be 16. So let's write them in. So we got 24.31 for magnesium, oxygen was 16, and hydrogen was 1.01. .01. Then we're going to find the total mass of each element of the compound. You can just simply multiply this row on a cross. So this for magnesium would be 24.31 units of mass. Oxygen there is going to be 32. And then hydrogen here is going to be 2.02. .02. So to find the total mass of the entire compound, all we got to simply do is now add up this column, right? So this is going to be 58, 58.33. Since we're solving for molar mass, the units here are in terms of grams per mole, and that's all there is to it. Now you know how to find the molar mass of magnesium hydroxide. See you in the next video. Be well.